The plane we've chosen to build today is the Great Plains PT-40. PT for perfect trainer. A look at the box and you'll see it's a lightweight, large, slow flying, easy learning airplane. In fact, let's begin by opening up and seeing what comes inside here. Number one and right on top, the PT-40 instruction manual. This book is over 40 pages long and is chock full of the things you'll need to know to get your plane in the air and back down on the ground safely. Let's get started by punching out some of the die cut plywood parts. You'll find most of these parts press out very easily from their sheets. As we work our way through these parts, we're going to be certain to refer back to the plan book on page six, where you'll find a very clear road map of what each of these die cut parts is. As we work along, we're going to label them with a felt tip marker so that you can identify them later on as you build the plans. Here's one that's going to require a little bit of help from our hobby knife. So let's just carefully scribe around any lines that are not easy to remove right out. You can see the knife just breaks right through the back there. And let's see if we can get it. There she goes. Let's not discard all these pieces that we're taking apart here. You'll find they're good to mix glue on later on. You also will need a couple of little scraps to uh, build reinforcements into some of the model. I've taken a couple of moments to get the plan rolled out here on our work surface. We've taped it down at the four corners, and we've used some wax paper to protect the plan from any glue that may drip down onto it during construction. Before we can begin building the fuselage, we've got a couple of parts we've got to put together. Most notable is F1, the firewall. You'll find two pieces of 1 8 inch plywood, which you've punched out and identified previously. It's time to get those out now and to get ourselves some epoxy glue, which is recommended for this job, to put them together. We've got some four and a half minute pick epoxy here. You'll find this gives you about four to five minutes to work with. We'll begin with a modest amount of the epoxy, component A and component B. Let's take a look. I'm sure the camera will pick up that we have approximately equal portions. It's very important to try and get them as near equal as possible. This set behind me is done in black barren film. Sure is a range of colors. You don't want to let this stuff go onto your surfaces half mixed. You'll find that part of it will cure and part will not. So we're going to mix it thoroughly for half a minute or so. And then we're going to get F1 over here. And we're going to spread it uniformly across the part. We really don't need to put it on both sides. And frankly, this glue is so strong that you need very, very little to produce a nice, strong bond. So we're going to spread it thin all the way across the part. As you can see, we want to get it out to the edges. We don't really want to miss any. This is the piece that carries the engine of your airplane and is going to carry it into the sky or into the ground if it doesn't stay together. So let's get it glued thoroughly. You can see we're scraping excess off. Let's turn it. Get this last part over here. Now we're ready to glue it together. Since this glue dries rather slowly, you've got a couple of minutes to get your parts positioned. We've squared them up. We've raided the laundry room for a couple of clothespins. You could stand here and hold this for four to five minutes. Frankly, I'd prefer to do something else. So the clothespins are that extra hand that I need to keep the job rolling along. One or two more. And in about five minutes, we'll have our firewall glued and ready to get started constructing the fuselage.